Okay everybody, this is what we need to do when we come into our church building. The first thing we need to do, we've got a, a record of what event, what meeting has taken place. So you must fill this in, date it, what meeting it is, how many people's been there, and more importantly at the end, uh, who's cleaned it and making sure that's been cleaned. So what we're going to do now, just a short video to show you exactly how we have to clean. So the first thing, after obviously filling that in, whoever's left after the meeting, if it's a couple of you or just one, first you need to do is obviously put gloves on, and then the second thing is put an apron on. And now I'm going to show you now how to mix the cleaning uh, products that we've got to clean the building. Okay, so over here in the kitchen in the corner, we've got all our cleaning products, our chemicals, we've got our gloves, uh, sorry, we've got our cloths. We've got our gloves in two sizes, large and medium. And here in this bundle is the aprons. Now for some of you, you might think this is a bit too much, but we want to make sure that our building is COVID secure. And this is the kind of thing I would do in my school where I work. So we're going to use two main products. We've got one that's called D2, which is a blue multi-purpose cleaner. This is what you'll use secondly to wipe everything down. So the first thing what we need to use is something called D, D10. Now D10, it's a pink solution and it has to be mixed up. So I'll show you how to mix it up. I've got one already ready and we'll try to have one ready so it's always ready to, to use. Okay, and I've actually put some in this little dispenser you can see that's got D10 on. And I've just worked out 20 squirts of this makes up one of these bottles. So I'll show you now how to do it. So the first thing you do, you're gonna fill this up, the empty one up, with just cold water. So about to there, and then with the D10, the pink solution, 20 squirts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay? Now what this is, this is a disinfectant that can be used on any surface at all within church. It can be used on uh, in the kitchen, it can be used in the toilets, can be used on the chairs, can be used on the tables. And the main thing what you need is, you need to have a fine spray. You need to have a fine spray so it sprays over the whole area. So if you were doing the sink, you would just spray all the sink, the taps, everything, you'd spray it. And then what you would do then is you would leave that, don't touch it, for five to 10 minutes. So the best thing to do is, whatever area you've used in church, if it's the back room or the main hall, just take this, squirt everything, work your way around, then come back, and this is where then you'll use the blue solution D2. So D2 now, yeah. So D2, so what you need to do with this is fill a bucket up. At the moment we haven't got a bucket, so we're just going to use this. Fill this up with some hot water. So you want to fill it up with some hot water, and this measures just the right amount. And you need two, one, two. That's all you need, D2. So two little, uh, little squirts in there. And then with a the cloth, what you want to do is make lots of subs. So after 10 minutes, if you've, if you've squirted this, then all you're gonna do then is wipe down everything, everything that you've used. Wiping down everything that you've used. And then when you finish wiping things down, 
with these cloths, we're just going to throw them away. Okay, we're just going to throw them away into a bin, and that's done. Right. Okay, right now, if you've had a meeting in the main hall, obviously there's just chairs, there could be tables, there could be the pulpit, uh, there could be doors, obviously, and door handles. So, this is what you do. So, if somebody was at the pulpit, you would just use and squirt everything that people could have touched and then the chairs you can square everything yeah even the fabric and again you'd leave that for 10 minutes and then with your cloth just hot water with d2 the blue solution you'd wipe down then all obviously the, the hard bits the wood and if it's the back room you'd use the the metal the metal chairs you'd wipe down then and if it's the pulpit, same again. If you've used it for any reason, give it a good wipe down. And then just leave it. And again, once you've finished using your cloth, throw your cloth away. But don't forget to wipe down your door handles. Don't forget to wipe down your switches. So anything where anybody's touched, any door handles, sort of around the door, just wipe that. And now I'll show you the toilets. Okay, so cleaning the toilets, exactly the same. Use your D10 spray, spray the handles, even the, we've got a paper towel dispenser. Spray everything, the sink, the toilet, the handle on the toilet. And the hand dryers are not in use, we're just using the paper towels. So spray everything, leave it for 10 minutes, and then same again, wipe everything down. So if you're going to use one cloth, the best thing to do is wipe, wipe everything, the door handles, wiping everything, the towel holder, the sinks, then the last thing, the last, last thing you want to wipe is your toilet, because we're going to throw this away. So the last thing, wipe your toilet. Underneath. And then in the kitchen area, we've got some bleach. Put some bleach in the toilet. And then the last thing, throw your cloth away. Okay, once you've done all your cleaning, the last thing really is to empty the bins. So every bin in the church, you need to empty it. You need to get the bag out, obviously clean the bin too, and then all the bags. There's some bags in the toilets, uh, put these in the bin, and then put some clean bags in there. And also, there's, there's loads of uh, bags available, and also you need to mop the floor. So the kitchen floor, the toilet floors, and the good thing is to use, use bleach, use some bleach. If we run out of anything, uh, just let somebody know, uh, the trustees, let myself know and we'll try to get some more products. And also, just one thing, just to check, there's lots of hand sanitizers about. We've got one here, a little squirt solution. If that seems to be running out, we do have, in the corner of the kitchen, we do have some big tubs of hand sanitizer so if we can just make sure they're filled up all the time then the last thing to do just before you go is obviously you need to take everything off so to take it your apron off take it off from the top and then from the back roll it up inside itself take your gloves off like that and then the last thing roll that glove over everything if you can and then put that in your bag and then throw that out. So if there's anything we've missed, please let us know, but generally this is what has to happen after every single meeting. So thanks for watching.